Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Saturday the 23rd of November. Um, now, some of you have tuned in this week and haven't had videos. Apologies for that. I only managed to do Wednesday. Um, took me ages to get back in the in the swing of things this week. So I haven't been feeling that well. I've just had a, a nasty migraine that's been coming and going. So one minute I'll be okay. Then the next minute it just kind of come on and I'd be sleepy and, and not really with it. So... Um, I didn't manage to do many videos, but uh, yes, yeah, so I kind of paced myself really because I've been getting lots of new clients with my reflexology business. Um, so I was kind of putting all my energy into making sure that it was all going well. Um, so that being the case, I kind of feel like when I get migraines, it's a, it's a hint that I'm perhaps doing a little bit too much I don't get them as much as I used to. <laughs> now I've given up my muggle job and do a bit more of a holistic way of life. Uh, they're few and far between. But so the point of that whole story is today I'm gonna do a reading for the week ahead. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to do daily readings. I think probably for the next few weeks because I'm very busy with my new business and obviously with Christmas and all the extra things that happen with that, it is just a little bit hectic for me. So I'm gonna manage my energy levels which is something that I'm learning to do this year. I haven't really ever done that before. I've just pushed myself harder and harder until I collapse. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm learning a new skill. It's called self-care. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick some cards now. So this is for the week ahead. I've got my Rider Waite Smith cards. I've got my uh, Lead Me Into The Light Oracle cards and I've got an Animal Oracle card as well to pick for you. So let's see who comes out. Ah, okay. Well, that's interesting. So as I was talking about looking after ourselves, because the Knight of Cups, I feel like he is learning that skill as well. He's got his, um, we've also got the Justice card as well that's come up. Um, so I feel like the Knight of Cups is, he's got his armour on, so he's protecting himself, but he is holding that cup out. He is ready to love, to give love, receive love. It's a lovely position to be in. Um, I feel the Knight of Cups is coming in now for all of us, walking towards that Justice card. And the Justice card is going to ask this question, are you being your authentic self? That's, you know, when the Justice card comes out, it does highlight whether we're being honest with ourselves, with other people. Some people can find the Justice card a bit of a difficult card to um, navigate because there is a right and wrong with the Justice card. And with all our decision making, um, you know, we, we kid ourselves that there's grey areas or we try and convince ourselves that something's good when it's not. So I do feel like the Justice card is coming in there asking those difficult questions. So is this Knight of Cups equipped for those questions? Um, are you equipped for those questions also? He is walking. I feel like he's quite humble in his plodding along there. He's not like the other knights that are charging forward like you get with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords in this pack. He's not standing still and being hesitant like the Knight of Pentacles. He is just slowly gracefully moving forward on his horse there and the fact that the horse is white I feel like that is the symbol of being pure purity honesty all those sort of lovely um, qualities that somebody can have I also am really drawn to the wings on the top of his helmet I feel like that's um, a connection to spirit a connection to our spiritual self and our authentic self so in what ways are you living up to that side of your nature? Um, again, the Knight of Cups, Cups are to do with emotions. So are you managing your emotions well? Are there things that you do with your emotions that if we actually looked at it from a justice point of view, and obviously the justice card is not an emotional card, it's a very fact-driven card. If you were actually to write down your emotions and how they play out in your life, is it right? Is it wrong? Is there someone that would maybe not agree with the fact that that's um, the right way to go about things? There's a very clear, concise yes or no with the justice card that comes in. So why are they coming in now? Well, the justice card is number 11. 
in the major arcana i kind of feel scorpio season and i which just reminds me because i did say i was going to do a sagittarius kind of link because we've moved into sagittarius but this has come up perfectly to tie in with that our scorpio season that we've just left is all about death and rebirth so here we are now at a new cycle the card number 11 that justice is just you probably didn't need me to tell you this, is after the 10. And the 10 is the end of a cycle. It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's when we've been put somewhere and we're starting a new journey. And this Knight of Cups looks like he's starting a new journey as well. So I feel that this is whatever you've learned in that Scorpio season. And it, on some level, I think there's a very deep understanding of who we are that's come out of this Scorpio season especially because we've moved into the Pluto and Aquarius era as well I think um yeah for all of us we've perhaps learned a little bit about ourselves um how we maybe self-sabotage or just hold ourselves back or perhaps try and get ourselves too involved in other people's stuff where we don't need to um whether we're trying to help or hinder just you know Every, every case is different but I feel that this is looking at that looking at everything that you've learned throughout that Scorpio season about yourself and realizing what your values are and how you want to move forward with them and just running them past that justice card to see if they are balanced and honest <laughs> ways to be so let's see what card comes out in our lead me into the light oracle cards i think these are always um oh okay so that one wanted to just fall out of the pack all right beautiful letting go life has left you burdens let them go and i feel as well we had this i feel like these wings on the knight of cups i feel like it's almost the same kind of scenario here we've got these doves behind the lady's head again i feel like that's touching in with the spiritual side the spiritual aspect and moving on to a new way of life a new way of being you don't want to take baggage with you when you're starting out on a new emotional emotional journey you don't want to bring up the past when it's like come on let's just see what's true see what's needed see what factually what we actually need in our life you don't want the baggage. And um, and when I look at this beautiful white light here, it almost looks like somebody's coming out there offering something new to us. It's a beautiful card. And, you know, if you haven't had enough hints over the last few weeks about letting go of what doesn't serve you, there was just another reminder there from our Oracle cards. So lastly, I'm going to pick a spirit animal card for us. And don't forget, this is for the full week ahead. Um, so I'll be back again next Saturday with another reading to take you through the week after as we move into December. But what spirit animal is going to show up for us to give us an amazing message today? Let's see. We've got, oh, lovely. <laughs> Flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. So we have that kind of... <laughs> gooey caterpillar state isn't it when you've got the the caterpillar and the butterfly and they're in their sort of chrysalis state and it's all a bit gooey but i actually like this flamingo coming in to say embrace the in between that being present just take having a little bit of fun to a certain extent our lives are always about getting from one place to another either spiritually <laughs> mentally or just you know actually in life getting from one place to another getting from home to work work to going out or seeing a friend or pick the kids up whatever but i think this is about enjoying the journey enjoying the process again he's got this beautiful arrow like um feathers but they actually look like wings on his head so there's that message again they've got the same got the same hat on how embarrassing <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is a new journey that we're on. This Knight of Cups is on a new journey. And I love the beautiful flamingo coming in to, to find um, a little bit of fun, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of the same colour as my jumper, isn't it? 
you know, a little bit of fun in the world because it's not all about learning lessons and doing the inner work. You can have a little bit of enjoyment too. So yeah, just make sure that you find time to embrace your life and enjoy whatever it is that comes your way this week for Flamingo. Okay, so like I say, look after yourselves. I will be back next week uh, and I'll give some weekly readings just for the few weeks leading up to Christmas. So I really hope that you can make them and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.